The aim of this video is to explain the characteristics of amylogenesis imperfecta. Amelogenesis imperfecta represents a group of rare genetic conditions characterized by defective enamel formation and mineralization. The structure and the clinical appearance of all or nearly all teeth are affected in both primary and permanent dentitions. Changes of other intraoral and extraoral tissues can also be frequently observed. Pathogenic variants in at least 70 genes cause non-syndromic amelogenesis imperfecta or syndromic amelogenesis imperfecta when it is associated with other abnormalities. The global prevalence is below 0.5%. Enamel formation, known as amelogenesis, is characterized by several stages. First, during the initial secretory phase, a protein-rich extracellular matrix is composed mainly by enamelin, ameloblastin, and amelogenin, and it's highly secreted in an organized fashion by differentiated ameloblasts. During a maturation stage, the immature enamel reaches its final thickness. Extracellular matrix secretion stops and its degradation begins mediated by proteases such as metalloproteinase 20 or calicrane 4. Finally, ameloblasts pump ions into the extracellular matrix forming hydroxyapatite crystals, which are organized to form enamel prisms and the extracellular matrix proteins continue to be removed to make room for crystal growth. The mode of inheritance could be X-linked, autosomal dominant or recessive and can be cause defects in any protein involved in these stages. This can in turn cause amylogenesis imperfecta. Several phenotypes have been defined. Amylogenesis imperfecta can be seen as soon as the teeth erupt. Clinical expression varies, affecting teeth color, from white to yellow-brown. Surface, smooth, rough, spotted, and hardness, from normal hardness to soft enamel. Discolored and weak enamel can quickly break down, causing a diminution of the vertical dimension of occlusion, early tooth loss and pain, compromising aesthetic appearance and oral function. Thus, most of the patients need a lifelong extensive restorative care. Hello, my name is Anna and I am 12 years old. I have been suffering from a disease called Melgenesis Imperfecta since I was very young. I suffered a lot of teasing and insults, like your tears are in England color. I also felt a lot of pain because of the cold. Following that, he was able to be followed at the hospital. It has taken a long time, but now I can see the results and I know that it was worth it. I have aesthetic restoration and I can smile again. The predominantly hypoplastic form is a quantitative defect, resulting from failure during the secretory stage. The enamel is thin, hard, may be rough, and presents pits and stri. There is often a lack of contact points between teeth. Radiographically, the enamel contrasts normally from dentine and the morphological anomalies are detectable on X-rays. Predominantly hypermineralized forms are qualitative defect caused by maturation stage failure. The teeth exhibit varying degrees of hypermineralization with altered color, yellowish or brown, and marked opacity. These teeth are highly sensitive. The enamel has its full thickness at the beginning, but porous and weak, it fails prematurely. 
This rapid post-eruptive enamel loss exposes the underlying dentine. Radiographically, it can be difficult to distinguish between enamel and dentine. Predominantly hypomature forms are a qualitative defect. Tooth shape is maintained but the color is opaque, white to brown. Post-eruptive breakdown may occur. Enamel is hard enough but on x-rays, enamel appearance is less radiopaque. Mixed AI phenotypes are frequently encountered. Various defects like hypoplasia and hypermineralization or hypermaturation may coexist in the same patient or even on the same tooth. Other clinical features reported are abnormal crown shape or size, eruption disorders, root resorption, torodontism, pulp calcifications, and gingival overgrowth. Phenotyping of teeth from AI patients is often complicated by post-eruptive changes that occur during the time spent in the mouth. Rough enamel is extremely difficult to maintain clean and patients suffering from hypersensitivity are reluctant to brush their teeth. Consequently, Gingival inflammation and periodontis are frequent due to the accumulation of dental plaque and calculus. Anterior open bite is associated in about 50% of cases of hyperplastic amylogenesis imperfecta and can cause accumulation of dental plaque and gingival inflammation. AI could be associated with other abnormalities in several syndromes. The enamel renal syndrome is caused by mutations of FAM20A. Patients have hyperplastic AI which, in extreme cases, may present as a complete absence of enamel. Associated oral defects may include delayed tooth eruption, hyperplastic dental follicles, pulp stones and gingival overgrowth with ectopic calcification. Calcification of other organs, most frequently nephrocalcinosis, is variably reported. Hence, the patients should be referred for specialist renal evaluation and follow-up. Another example of syndromic AI is the Kohlstutter-Tun syndrome. This is an autosomal recessive rare disease characterized by epileptic encephalopathy, intellectual disability, psychomotor regression and amylogenesis imperfecta. The enamel defect is severe with yellowish to orange-brown discoloration of both primary and permanent teeth. Takeaway messages from this video include that amylogenesis imperfecta is a developmental disorder, characterized by its heterogeneity. It comes in many forms. Furthermore, it is very important to carefully assess the medical history of all patients affected by amylogenesis imperfecta.